guys today we're gonna be doing a funny video. Hold on one second. Okay, that's the best I can get it. So let's watch today. Today we are going to be reacting to the uh, Brave Wilderness surviving a leech attack. Shot the Brave Wilderness. Got your flapping. She's got stung by a lot of stuff. And let me tell you, <laughs> he's crazy. Trying to get the best I can. Full screen. So I have a little blue thing color. Let's see the boy. Yes, that sounds exactly good.
finally get this blood. Oh man, look at that. It is just like coagulated. All of my fingers. And my fingers aren't cut. They're just small little incisions where the leech actually bit me. There is so much blood all over my hands and arm. It's tough to see where the actual wounds are located. At this point, I have a lot of the residual blood cleaned off my hands and arms. And look at that. You can see where the exact bite zones are as the blood is continuing to bubble out. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? Now my next step, gosh, it just won't stop, is to use basic wet ones. Now these are antibacterial, and what this will do from an initial first go is just kill any of the bacteria that is right on the surface. You can also use alcohol pads or iodine for this. Ah, that stings. And that's good. I want all the germs that came out of the leeches, suckers, and saliva to begin to break down. Man, that's crazy. Look at that. Look at that one right there. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to is hydrogen peroxide. Ooh, I was going to stick it out. It will actually break down the enzymes in the leech's saliva. It also fizzes and kills all the bacteria around the site of the wound. Now, I have used hydrogen peroxide on every single wound that I've ever gotten when out in the wild. Knock on wood, so far I have never gotten an infection. So now, I have antibacterial on there, as well as hydrogen peroxide, and it definitely seems that the bleeding has slowed down from the hydrogen peroxide. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take little dabs of paper towel and spit them over each one of the bite sites. Now what the paper towel is doing is forcing the blood to stay in one spot, and that will ultimately help it coagulate and clot. And if you guys are wondering if I'm in any kind of pain right now, absolutely none. It feels like nothing. So I'm going to let these little dabs of paper towel sit there for about five minutes, and then we'll move on to the next step. Five minutes. Okay, now the next thing that I'm going to use is Neosporin, multi-action ointment. And this one specifically kills 99% of germs. Whoa! I use Neosporin on absolutely everything. Not a big No, this is not a big advertisement. I just always carry Neosporin. Neosporin honestly should sponsor us because we go through shoots of this all the time. Now you'll notice that there's a lot of blood still coming out, and I will bleed for several hours, so I have to keep changing the bandages. But uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Uh, the bleeding has definitely slowed, and at this point, I think it's time to put on some band-aids. Because this is Dragon Tales, we're going to use Ninja Turtle band-aids. Look at that, Raphael, the red one. Perfect for all this blood. Now here we go. I'm just going to pop that band-aid right there over the bite. I'm sure you were thinking to yourself, are those tiny little band-aids really going to stop all that bleeding? No. No, they aren't. Well, guys, I tried to make the Ninja Turtle band-aids work, but unfortunately, the bleeding just is not stopping. So, we're going to have to go to plan B, which is using gauze and medical tape. Here's how you do this. Now, in a normal situation, if you had been bitten by a single leech, Neosporin and band-aids should do the trick. Again, keep in mind that my arm was in that container with leeches for over 20 minutes. So these bites are pretty massive. Alright, so what I'm going to do is use gauze to make a compress. Uh, this is a temporary barrier. Long. So the bleeding stops enough for me to put on the band aids. Right, the tighter I make this, the better it's going to be. Now, you'll notice that the bite up here has stopped. And the one on the underarm also has stopped. So that will be a perfect spot for an inch turtle band aid. Look at that. Alright, well at this point I am pretty well bandaged up. Now I do want to keep an eye on these bites for the next 24 hours to make sure that no sort of infection is forming. But I think ultimately, I'm going to be just fine. I'm Kathy Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. Don't get eaten alive by leeches. We'll see you on the next adventure. If somehow you missed eating alive... Where I judge the reaction. I'm gonna say that's a pretty good video. Peace out. I love you all.